Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. It's time to plan for the month of October and that is crazy. We are officially in the countdown for 2025 to be here. I feel like the way time is moving, we'll be saying Merry Christmas tomorrow. October is also the start to quarter four. So this is the last quarter of the year. Time to kick it into high gear. Make sure you meet all your goals for the year. And I don't know about you, but I plan on making fourth quarter my best quarter of 2024. And for me to accomplish this it's going to require consistency and balance of my time to not only make sure that I'm accomplishing my tasks and goals but also giving myself grace and rest time the best way for me to make sure all of this is happening is to create a plan and stick to it so let's get into this plan with me I'm going to be using the stickers that I created for my October sticker pack and I'll make sure they're linked below for anyone who's interested in these stickers this little iPad has gotten a lot of change in the last few weeks. Not only have we got the update for iOS 18, if you were able to update your iPad, and GoodNotes was not gonna be left out of the party. They've added quite a few new features in this little app, and I'm still getting used to some of them, like the way things have changed around, the menus look a little different, and it's definitely time for an updated GoodNotes feature video. I'm currently working on my iPad customization video. I wanna customize my iPad using some of the new iOS 18 features. And someone did let me know that iOS 18 for the iPad has been paused for some of the pro models because of the issues that have come across with the update. And I've experienced some of the issues with my update. Like when I go to turn my iPad on now, my widgets don't always pop up. And I had different screens set up for my different focuses. That's disappeared too. So I guess it's a good time to redo my iPad because it's basically wiped out most of what I already had set on my iPad. And I just wanna know, is anybody else experiencing these issues? If you updated, have you experienced any glitches going on with your iPad since you've updated? Getting back to the plan with me, as some of you already know, I start with my stickers and then I add in my plans and events for the month. I'm gonna cover up the month and the days of the week on this template using the screenshot method in GoodNotes. So what you'll do is lasso an empty space on your template, take a screenshot of that, and then in the pop-up box, you wanna select copy. When you copy it, you can use this little, I call it like a band-aid to cover up anything on your template that you wanna change. So I've added that to my calendar and now I can use the stickers for the month and the days of the week. And I'm gonna do minimal editing again this time with my plan with me so you can see that everything doesn't always flow smoothly. It it's, it's, it's a struggle, as you can see, trying to get the stickers in place, but if you're consistent, it gets better. It doesn't always have to be like a frustrating struggle. It's still gonna be some issues and problems, but it will get better. One thing I'm starting to notice, it might be in my mind just because I like using the pen light -like tips, but since I've gotten this Apple Pencil Pro, I've been using the tip that came with it. I hadn't changed it out. And after using it for a while, it seems like it gets harder for me to lasso things and move them around. And when I use the pen light -like tip, it's not as bad of a struggle to move things around with the lasso tool. So I may be switching out the tip on this pencil pretty soon. Here I've switched to the split screen to bring over my date stickers cause I can bring them over in a group. And when I got them over, I'm like, what is, what is this? What does this do? So I guess this is how you rotate your stickers now <laughs> once you pull them over. But anyway, when you bring your stickers over for your date stickers in a group, you can size them all together and make sure they're the same size for all of the stickers when you group them together like this and adjust the sizing at once for all of them. From a city that's high school I give them the cinema I go uh, Cause you a bad man If she don't love money She break hearts real fast like a man When I swim down to the deep end Wanna know all my secrets Honestly Can you keep it real? Cause honestly I can tell that you're real fond of me Baby don't be shy I can see it in your eyes I've been running around Too bad I've been sticking out your mind I know you like your hell Yeah, you took it all the night Too bad, I've been sticking out your mind Too bad, I'm not here like you have a rock from your heart 
few stickers to the bottom to decorate this empty space. I left this space open so you can do whatever you want to in this space, but I always like to add some stickers. My philosophy with this whole digital planning and adding stickers to your spread is if you like the way it looks, you're going to be more prone to come back to it and use it. So I try to make it appealing to my eyes so that it will bring me back to it to use it more frequently. While I was working on the stickers for October, I realized how excited I am for fall. Like fall is the perfect season to me, just because you still have your warm days here in North Carolina, but you still get to bring out your fall clothes without it getting too cold yet. Like I can pull out my boots, I can pull out my light sweaters, jeans. You just put outfits together differently in the fall than you do in the summertime and the colors of fall i just love how the color combinations are the dark olive colors the burnt oranges the the creamy um taupe colors i love all of that fall to me also represents that it's okay for change like you start to see the leaves change and fall from the trees things just start to look different you'll see nature evolve in fall and fall is the perfect time to start evolving to prepare Prepare yourself for the new year. That's just my mentality on it, my take on the whole fall situation. sticker for Halloween and I'm also gonna add one in for Columbus Day and I don't know about y'all but I love a good federal holiday I look forward to those especially when they extend my weekend I love the ones that fall on the weekend that I already have four days off which throw me to have five days off and when they fall on the opposite weekend I'll end up with three extended weekends in a row so it's a win-win we love a good federal holiday I don't really have a lot of events, appointments, and things like that going on in the month of October, but October is going to be a busy month for me. This is the month that I'm focusing in on my planners and I want to make sure I get those done. I have set a goal to have my planners completed and done by November. Let us pray. But that is the plan as of right now. We are on track. I've been working on them. They're making good progress, but I need to make sure that all the... Um, all the hyperlinks go where they're supposed to go. I'm starting fresh. I'm using a new software this year to do the planners. So there's no using anything from previous planners. If the spread looks the same, I've recreated it in this new software because I couldn't pull anything over from the old way that I made planners. So we're doing a complete revamp with the process of making planners. And hopefully from here on out, it will be a smoother process. The big thing I'm focusing on right now is the All Things Volume 3 planner. That planner didn't come out last year. I didn't do a new addition to that planner last year, so it's time for a revamp of that one. I'm also playing with the idea of creating a Notion planner, but I'll let you know about that one. So now I'm just going to add in the days that I have off that are my scheduled days off and then I'm going to go in and I only have two appointments as of right now in October. I'm going to get a pap done and then I have my therapy appointment. I also have a special meeting coming up um, the first weekend in October. I'm super excited about that and I can't wait to share more about that with y'all later. The last thing I'm gonna add is my YouTube posting schedule. I started adding this to my calendar last month and I do my detailed planning for my post in Notion. I'm focused on continuing to consistently post here on YouTube. I'm also working on a digital planning one-on-one -on -one type of video and I wanna make sure I cover any questions that you have about digital planning. So if you wanna leave them in the comments below, I'll get them from there. And I'm also gonna put a poll in my Instagram stories if you'd rather ask your question over there.
Now I'm going to complete my overview for October. This month, I'm going to focus on consistency and balance. I want to be consistent with my work and my postings, but I also want to make sure I balance it between rest and stepping away from what I have going on because working a full-time job and doing this stuff that I'm doing on the side for the planners and YouTube posting, it can get overwhelming and I don't want to get burnt out. So I want to make sure that I'm balancing what needs to be done with some time for myself to relax from all of this too. My top three for October are gonna be planning, organization, and routines. Um, making sure that I'm planning and sticking to my plan. It's one thing to write the plan down, but sticking to the plan is a totally different thing. I need to do more of that. I wanna make sure that I'm organizing not only my time, but the space around me. I just feel like when everything around me is less cluttered, then my mind is less cluttered. It's easier for me to think when I'm in a clear space. And I'm still working on getting my routines together. I would like to work on starting my day earlier and having more structure throughout the day. The goals I'm setting for myself in October are to continue working on my 2025 planners, to read um, and or listen to two books. I wanna follow my posting schedule, walk five days a week and get in a gallon of water a day. And as far as the habits that I'm gonna track for October, I'm gonna keep them the same. I'm gonna track my walking, my vitamins, water, journaling and devotions. So now I'm just gonna finish writing in the rest of my goals for October and also the habits that I'm tracking. And once I get everything written in, I'm, I'm gonna add in a few stickers to this page. overview done the last thing I'm going to work on is my vision board for the month of October and this one is going to be heavy on the fall vibes if you're interested in using this one I'll link it below I can count on you 
taking care of me You know that I love you, love you, love you Love you, love you, love you You know that I want you, want you, want you You know I want you, want you, want you Love you, love you, love you Love you, love you, love you You know that I want you, want you, want you I want you, want you, want you Pretty paper I'm infatuated, I'm obsessed, you a flex, I'ma make you mine You serving power and you sexy, give you all my time You the only thing I see, I give you all of me Just to get you, I've been wanting you for so long And to be honest, you the only one that make me smile Like, oh my wow, you so bad and you make me laugh You so supportive, I remember how it was before you No, I can't lie all right, now that I have my vision board done, I'm gonna use the lasso tool and copy my vision board and add a small version of it to my overview at the bottom. So when I check in with my overview, I can also see my vision board here too. And now I'm all planned out and ready for the month of October. I'm excited to not only see what this month has in store, but also the fourth quarter of this year. I'm claiming a great month right now for all of us. All right, y'all, till next time. Thank you.